Good morning, my people. What's up? It's Sunday, May 21st. I'm going to IHOP to get some coffee. I don't even think you need coffee. <laughs> and I actually woke up pretty awake. Don't show behind you because we had some Jack in the Box last night. Oh. And some ice cream, but only like a little bit of ice cream. And some combos. So we just went all out. Yeah, so but I'm kind of Saturday. feeling something like IHOP, like something that's well, you know, like a well-balanced like, meal, like with yeah. fats and well, protein and carbs and something nutritious. And coffee, mainly coffee. Lots of coffee. <laughs> Lots of calories. All right, sounds good. What's going on YouTube? I want to walk you through my HIIT slash full body workout. So I love incorporating these about like two to three times a week into my workout routine. It really just gets my heart rate going and it's kind of like a fun, different way to get your cardio in. So I started off with the kettlebell swings and you will see that um, I'm just kind of swinging it up. Just make sure it is a controlled movement because this exercise is going to work your whole body. Then I moved on to bench taps. I didn't even know that these were called that, but I love incorporating like fast paced type training into my HIIT workouts. It got my heart rate going and I don't know, I felt pretty cool. I felt like I was doing a little Irish dance, but it was a really good workout and you can see that my hair was just falling out. I definitely brought the wrong hair tie. I need a more heavy duty one for this type of training. Then I moved on to jumping jacks, which are pretty self-explanatory. I love incorporating this simple movement into my workouts. Again, you will see that my hair is just falling. I seriously had to fix my bun like six or seven times throughout this workout because it was so like so much jumping and so fast paced that my hair just couldn't handle it. And I was definitely wearing the wrong hair tie. <laughs> Then I moved on to the battle ropes. I love doing these. This is actually technically a shoulder movement, but I love incorporating it with shoulders and um, some cardio. I love doing this. I just feel like I can do anything when I'm just like swinging those ropes and it just seriously works my whole body. I always feel it afterwards. I love it. Then I moved on to my favorite ab exercise. I'm not sure the correct name for this. I just put abs with stability ball. Um, but you will see here that I like to kind of um, pause in between each one. So you'll see me planking, I'll pause and I'll bring it in and pause for a second and I'll just keep repeating that. So that was the end of my workout guys. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a try for yourself and let me know how it goes in all of that. Nap time. <laughs> I just jumped in the pool for like a second and it's freezing now, so I'm like, go on, go home. It's actually really hot outside, but it's just like, there's this annoying wind at our apartment pool and it makes it freaking cold. Pretty thin. Your obes. <laughs> Good morning, my people. I am, you know, doing my usual, making my coffee. <laughs> um, it is Wednesday. Um, not sure the date, but I'll put the title. Um, and it is about 8.45 a.m., so I'm up early. Um, I'm gonna get a few things done today, I'm gonna get a workout in. Um, and I just uploaded my challenge today, which was really cool. Um, and it was super fun to do and I'm like, I was like so excited to post it. Like, I was really anxious and was gonna post it. Like I was like, I'm just gonna post it on Tuesday. It's like I had it done for like a whole day. I just was like so anxious to get it out. But it's out. I'm super excited and I'm really excited to keep doing these wild Wednesdays because they're really fun and different than my normal vlogs. And it's a blast. I already have next week's planned. And if you guys have like any challenge ideas or like it doesn't have to be a challenge. It could be anything, just like random and funny, if like a prank, um, anything that you guys want me to do. Just leave them in the comments below, and we'll get interesting with these wild Wednesdays. You guys hear my shoes? I've cleaned the floor like five or six times. It still sounds sticky. From 
the challenge. But this morning, I had cupcake batter protein shake for breakfast with one cup of almond milk. I am not taking pre-workout today because I had coffee a little bit ago. But we're going to the gym right now and it's about like 10, 46, 10.46. And Cody's gonna do chest. And I'm gonna do a bubble <laughs> So, here we go. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome. I don't get it, I don't get it. So, I had a protein milkshake shake for breakfast because I have like no groceries, so that's kind of what I resorted to, so we can just go to the gym and eat something quick. Um, but I'm still pretty hungry because those shakes are only like 130 calories. I usually like to just have those for like snacks. I don't usually use those for a meal, but I am like really hungry right now. I'm not gonna go to the gym, so afterwards I want like something good. What's going on YouTube? You're not gonna get one, but you're gonna get two voiceovers because I feel like they're really helpful and I kinda can take you guys through my workout and talk to you guys. So with that being said, for my first exercise, I did lateral raises. These are just like your generic, just side lateral raises. I love incorporating these into my shoulder days. Just make sure that you're releasing slowly and that it is controlled. Get a weight that you're comfortable with so you can really focus on a controlled movement. Then I moved on to the front lateral raises. I love this one as well. So I was doing a tricep with these two exercises and you'll see the third one in a second. But basically I'm focusing today on shoulders, triceps, and biceps. So you'll see, then I turn into hammer curls. And these, again, you just wanna get a weight that you're comfortable with. This was a little bit light for me. Um, you can see how fast I'm going, but just make sure it is a controlled movement and you're keeping the tension while releasing slowly. Then I moved on to this little number. I don't even know what this is called, but I found it on Instagram and I absolutely loved it. So you hold one arm up while you're releasing the other arm. And I did 12 reps on each arm and I think I had a 15 pound dumbbell in each hand. So this one, I definitely felt it afterwards. Then I moved on to this tricep uh, super set that was super difficult to say. Um, I found this one on Instagram as well So you just make sure you're keeping that tension and you're flexing those triceps You don't want to just make it be throwing it around and not flexing because then it's not really gonna do its job um, This one I've never done before and you could see Cody asking me what I'm doing and I start laughing because he's like I've never seen you do that. What is that? Is that even a real exercise? <laughs> but I'm telling you guys it worked my triceps like crazy and I was so sore So I definitely recommend this one if you are going to be working out triceps it was really good and again just make sure you're really focusing on that movement then I've been recently incorporating these side hammer curls so um, rather than just pulling it up straight I pull it to the side and I have just been it's been burning like usually hammer curls don't burn me that much but these ones have just been a killer lately <laughs> Then I kind of um, found this one on Instagram too. Yesterday I was just experimenting with everything with shoulders, but this one you're just kind of pulling up and then releasing slowly. This one just burned so bad too. Um, you can see my hands are like inward when I'm pulling up. So get a weight you're comfortable with again and really focus on the movement. It's not always about how heavy you go. It's just about your form because you really want to make sure that you're working the correct muscles. This one was really fun. This was like a tricep too. So you can see that I just clap um, I clap down with the dumbbells and then in the middle and then all the way at the top <laughs> and I was doing five pounds and I told Cody there's no way I can go up from five pounds and that's why I was kind of laughing he's kind of laughing at me because it was hard it was so difficult and it was only five pounds like I grabbed ten pounds and I didn't want to film it because I couldn't even lift up my arms so this one was just like a complete killer and just absolutely destroyed my shoulders and I think you should try it because it's awesome so then I moved on to these ones which you guys have seen me do before. I want to emphasize that I put my armpit like all the way against that black bench because you really want to make sure you are only moving your bicep and nothing else is assisting you. So again, get a weight that you're comfortable with. I've been going lighter on everything recently and I've been noticing more definition and more progress than I ever have. And you can even see how much I was sweating. This workout was killing me. It was like kicking my butt. I was so tired. 
tired at this point but basically just keep that tension I don't release all the way down I kind of leave a little bit of tension to get that burn then these are lateral raises as well. Um, I wanted to try this variation just isolating the shoulders and I really liked it. It is very similar to the first lateral raises that I did but this one just isolating each arm to make sure you're working both arms equally. Then just classic um, bicep curls with the bar. This one I have a 30 pound bar and this is a little light for me, but what I like to do is I really like to focus on going down slowly and then keeping that tension. And my biceps are sore, like I flex them the whole time I'm doing this exercise. Then these are the overhead tricep extensions. I always incorporate this into triceps. I just love it. And I went a little lighter on this one that day as well um, and just really focused on going up are going down slowly and then flexing at the top because I really want to make sure that I am doing the correct movement and that I'm making sure I'm flexing and releasing slowly and that's really what's going to do the job and grow those triceps which is what I want. <laughs> then I did push-ups as a finisher. I haven't been working out chest recently. I used to do a whole chest day but I realized that wasn't really what I wanted wasn't where my goals were so I wanted to incorporate at least one chest exercise because it is important to still work out your chest so I just did push-ups because it's a basic movement it's a normal movement and I want to get better at them so I love incorporating these and I was dying you guys can see here that I just start going up slower and slower each time because this was difficult I did four sets of 12 reps so I was dying and this is the end of my workout you can just tell how tired I was but I hope you guys liked it give it a try for yourself let me know how it goes and that's all I have for you guys for my workouts I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was helpful and I hope you guys try it out for yourselves. All right guys, that is gonna conclude today's video. I know it was a little bit random. There's a bunch of workouts thrown in there and like a bunch of just random things, but um, I wanted to get something out for you guys and I'm starting something new on my YouTube and I wanna stick to it. I wanna give you guys your vlogs on Mondays and Fridays and the wild Wednesdays. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I do wanna ask you guys something. Um, if you do like the voiceover content in the workouts rather than just having like a cool montage with music, then give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys are liking the voiceovers and that they are helpful. I feel like they're helpful. I feel like if I was wanting a workout, I'd want someone to kind of explain it for me. But I want to know what you guys think because I make these videos for you guys and I want you guys' feedback. I really appreciate it when you guys give me your feedback. So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like the voiceover, or you can always give it a thumbs up if you like the video too. Um, and that's all I gotta say. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Woo, Friday, cheat day for me, so I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, have a great weekend, you guys, and I will see you all back for a new vlog on Monday. So see you guys then. Love you all. Thank you so much for your support. All right, 